Welcome yogis. Today we are going to do short uh, and not full, but a variation of a sun salutation. I do want to point out, as I do in all of these videos, if you have restrictions placed upon you because of your injury uh, from a surgeon, from an occupational therapist, from a physical therapist, from your primary care doctor or whomever, a nurse practitioner, if you have certain restrictions and you cannot bear weight or do certain movements, honor those restrictions, follow those restrictions that were placed upon you related to your injury or any other injuries or, or ailments. Um, I have my injury on my left side here. I'm currently not able to straighten my arm. This is just as it is. So I know from personal experience that the full cycle of sun salutation where a person goes through what's known as chaturanga, bringing the knees, the hips, the chest down to the ground, lifting up into a back bend. Don't worry about all of this. All I'm saying is some of these movements have been or are difficult uh, for someone like myself, like you, who may have this um, elbow ailment going on. That being said, we're going to do a variation of the sun salutation today, uh, something that's a little more gentler and able to tolerate. At least I have been, um, even with the condition I'm in. So I just point that out. We're going to do a variation of the sun salutation and not the full sun salutation. And trust me, in yoga world, there are variations to everything. And sun salutations can go deeper and longer. And you can have a full yoga class, 60 minutes of just sun salutation, one after that, after the other, after the other. But again, we're going to do um, a modified version that's a little more tolerable, as well as... We're going to go through the first round a bit slower to just uh, spend time in the stretch. Then we're going to move a little more quickly just through a couple rounds of this modified sun salutation and some potential postures. So that being said, I just want to point out I do have yoga blocks handy. I'm not 100% sure if I'll even need to use them for what we're about to do, but just want to point out that props can always aid us and assist us in making poses and postures more easeful for us to do. Okay, so I'll just keep these handy in case I need them. I'm gonna do the sun salutation facing to the side first so you can see what's happening. I'll do a round facing forward so you can see that angle. And like I said, then we'll go through a couple together um, at, a, at a more vigorous but not very vigorous pace. <laughs> Okay, so starting in, let's start in what's called mountain pose, and actually I'll turn to the front for this and then turn to the side. So mountain pose is a firm, gentle, stable, standing posture. Many of us can uh, practice mountain. Go ahead and lift all the toes up towards the sky, and then spread the toes out wide, and then place them down to the mat feeling all four corners of your feet, the heels, the fronts of the feet, the sides of the feet, just feeling all of the feet into the floor, the mat, the surface you're standing on. Next, your palms are gonna rotate forward, which is gonna help your shoulders slide inward and down the back. So bring the shoulders away from those ears. Hands come down, strong palms facing forward. Tuck the tailbone down, gentle with the knees. The knee, kneecaps are lifting towards the sky. Belly button in towards spine. Chest lifts, clavicle smiles. Tuck that chin. And then just breathe in the steadiness, in the groundedness, in the strength of this posture. You can keep your eyes open, a gentle gaze forward, or you can feel into the body, breathing in and out of the nose with the eyes closed. Feel the strength and stability as you breathe in and out of the body.
All right, so now we're gonna get, begin into some sun salutations. As I mentioned, I'm gonna show you them sideways and forward. So facing the short side of your mat, uh, many people in yoga classes might tell you to step to the top of the mat, but since we're not doing, like as I mentioned, all those uh, jumps and moves and spins and all those fun things, we're gonna do a basic sun salutation. You could be in the middle of your mat. You can be at the top of the mat if you like, or in the middle of the mat. So bringing hands as we were in mountain pose to the sides of our body. Inhale, the arms lifting up towards the sky. Gaze can head up towards the ceiling as well. Back bend, slight back bend. And then exhale, turn the palms away from each other, bringing them down to the side of the body. Inhale up, hands to heart center, or as close as you can get to that posture. Inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead. This time, exhale, leading with the chest, flat back, nose diving down towards the ground as the hands come with you. This is where you might like to have your block handy. If you can't touch the ground with your hands, you can bring your hand to a block, whichever side of the block is best for you. Inhale, hands come to the shins, lift up the head, Flat back, exhale, again down, forward fold. We're gonna do this a couple times, as I mentioned, slow through this first posture. Inhale, flat back, hands to chin, looking up. I'm sorry, hands to shin, as your chin looks up. Exhale, forward fold. One more time here, inhale, flat back, lift the head, hands to shins. Exhale, hands down to the block or the floor, rounding the back forward. And now let us spend some time in this forward fold. So you can bring your hands to opposite elbows if you choose. You can keep your hands down on the block or the floor. Bending your knees as much as you need to, to bring the chest towards the hips. If your hands are grabbing opposite elbows, you can kind of sway from side to side. And then if your hands are at opposite elbows, bringing them down to the floor or the block, nodding your head yes, shaking your head no, and go ahead and bring, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, breathing as you bring the body up head coming back, top of the spine, and just resting here for a moment. Breathing in and out of your nose, coming back to mountain posture. As I said, I'll do one now facing forward at that slower pace, and then we'll do a couple rounds more vigorously. Okay, so coming back to mountain, feet are sturdy and stable, all four corners of the feet. Tailbone tucks, lifting the knees. Belly button towards the spine, hands are forward, hanging out our sides, tucking that chin, feeling the stability of the pose. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them back up. Inhale, arms out and up towards the sky, gaze is lifted. Exhale, arms come around, hanging down at our sides. Inhale up to heart center. Breathing here, exhale. Inhale and exhale, just breathing at heart center. Go ahead and inhale those arms out and up. Gaze is lifted. This time exhale, palms go away from each other. Nose dive, chest is still lifted, flat back down towards the ground. Inhale. Flat back, lift the forehead, hands come to shins, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting the head, hands come to shins, flat back, exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, hands to shins, lifting that head to a flat back, exhale, forward fold. Now with the forward fold, having your block handy, your hands to the ground or to the block, Breathing here in your forward fold. You can bring your hands to opposite elbows if you choose. 
rocking or swaying a little bit from side to side, just feeling that stretch in the back of your body. Bending those knees, bringing the hands down to the block or the floor, bringing that chest close to your thighs, nodding your head yes, release the neck, shaking your head no, looking to opposite shoulders. All right, and then slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Coming back to mountain posture, feeling the effects of the forward fold and the sun salutation. So as I said, that time, the first two times we did the posture a little bit slower so you could play around in the forward fold. And a forward fold is something you can do at any time throughout your day. It's soothing. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system, really helps you rest, rejuvenate. So if you have to go to a busy meeting or you're getting ready for a tense discussion, you may want to forward fold prior to to kind of relax and restore um, back to vitality. All right, so we're going to move more quickly through the sun salutation. As I mentioned, these are uh, modified, brief sun salutations, not going through the full chaturanga. We'll do three rounds together and spending less time in each of the postures, as I mentioned. We're just going to flow with our breathing. So about three rounds or so together. So coming into mountain, hands, palms are forward, feet are sturdy and stable, tailbone is tough, chest is lifted, breathing in and out of the nose. Inhale, arms float to the ceiling. Exhale, palms come to the side. Inhale, heart, hands come to heart center. Exhale, breathing here for a moment. Inhale, arms float to the side and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palms move away from each other. Nose dive with a flat back, coming down to the ground. Exhale. Inhale, hands to shins. Flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms out to the side and up to the sky. Exhale, palms come down to the side. Inhale to heart center. Exhale and breathe. Inhale, arms float up to the sky. Exhale, palms turn away from each other. Chest leads with a flat back, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms sweep up, coming up to the sky. Exhale, hands down at the side in mountain. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling, gaze lift, slight back bend. Exhale, hands coming around to the side, lifting up. Inhale, at heart center. Exhale, and breathe. Inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, leading with the chest. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, hands down, forward fold. Inhale, arms sweeping out to the sides and up to the sky. Exhale, bring those hands down. Inhale to heart center and breathe for a moment. Exhale in the posture. Inhale, arms sweeping up towards the sky, reaching to the ceiling, gazes up, back bend. Exhale, forward fold, leading with the chest. Inhale, hands come to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, arms reaching towards the sky for the last one. Exhale, hands to the sides. Inhale, up to heart center and exhale, breathing in the posture. You can keep your eyes opened or closed, just breathe for a moment with the hands at heart center or bringing the hands back down to mountain posture, feeling the effects of our modified sun salutation rounds. And if your eyes are 
closed, open them back up. Thank you, Yogi, so much for joining me today. Let's close together. Inhale, arms up to the sides and ceiling, gaze is lifted. Exhale, bringing palms together at the chest. Two more times. Inhale, arms out wide, lift that gaze. Palms come together, exhale, heart center. Final time, inhale out and up and exhale, heart center. I appreciate you all practicing here with me today. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste, friends.